this is my student to teacher ratio project and during this project I had to see if the ratio to the student to teachers was ever 15 to 1 and if this ratio would ever stabilize. During this project we were given a set of information for our state which mine was Nevada and we had to put that information into an Excel spreadsheet and then create a few graphs explaining the data and what could happen. After putting the information given to me of the years past 2000 to 2001 all the way up to 2007 and the number of students and the numbers of teachers, my first graph was the number of students in Nevada um, compared to how many years. And then I found this, I found this by highlighting both columns and turning them into a scatter plot sheet. And this graph shows the number of students in Nevada um, in each year after 1999. On this graph, you would also put in the equation, find a trend line, label the axes and the graphs. And this graph is of a polynomial trend line. In the next graph, I would continue to do the same thing, just making it from students to teachers. So you would highlight the first column and the third column. In the graph, it also had the equation, the trend line, and the same data, only teachers. And that was giving you your start of seeing how the teachers and how the students would react just by themselves alone. In the next graph, it shows Nevada's student to teacher ratio from 2001 school year to the 2006 2007. And then I used my equation from the y equals in the previous two graphs to find this ratio. And then after that, I was given my ratio to that graph. Following that, I had to make, make a graph of the student to teacher ratio. And this graph showed Nevada's student to teacher ratio from 2001 to 2007. And the, the red line through the ratio will show what the ratio will be every year after 2006 to 2007. And then for my last graph, my graph shows Nevada's student-to-teacher ratio will be after the years that the information gave to me. The blue line shows this and the red line shows the horizontal asymptote, which would be 23.6. So that would be when it would stabilize. For my analysis, the student teacher ratio was once 15 to 1 in Nevada. This was during 1989 to 1990. I found this by putting the equation in my calculator and going to the table function and found that at negative 11, so, a neg so 11 years previous, the data would have been at 15 to 1. I also found the data would stabilize at a horizontal acid slope of y equals 23.6. I found this by deleting the other coefficients around it and making that my asymptote. For the conclusion to this project, it's the purpose of this project was to see if there's ever a 15 to 1 student to reach a ratio. And the data I got from the chart and the number of students and teachers from 2001 to 2007 school years. There's also graphs showing this and showing ratios. Other graphs also share where the asymptote and stabilizer is. My results show that there was once a 15 to student teacher ratio 11 years previous from the data given. My ratio would stabilize at 23.6. Next steps that could be taken to this project would to see if my ratio would continue to increase and maybe if my ratio could ever make it back to 15 to 1. This project was simple once you understand what you are doing. Um, the graphing 
with the Excel was simple. If you knew what you were doing, um, you just had to learn how to use the control button to switch columns, and there was a lot more you had to do in figuring out how to use the equation and making that go through your graph was also difficult. But with the help of some of my friends, I figured out how to do it. And this project was very helpful if I ever have to use Excel again. And yeah, so that's that. Thank you.